back. Day two, day one, day zero, day minus one. What are, what are we at? This, this is technically day zero. Day zero, whatever. Yeah. Our day one of E3. Our and day two of day three. Yes, sorry, our day two. Yes, of E3. And Microsoft happened, and mm. they happened a lot. So we yeah, they've, they've, they've just... kept up with their tradition of uh, E3 just going out on stage and going, here's a game, here's a game, here's a game, here's a yeah. game, we'll talk a little bit, here's more game, more game, more game, more yeah. game, talk a little bit, like, more game, more game, more game. Enough talking, to, enough talking to get their point across and then just like, no, we're going to keep yeah. giving you stuff, so we should probably just yeah, get there's started a lot to talk because about. there's a lot of stuff to get, so get through. So they started off with uh, the Master Chief, he, right? he's back, John's yeah. back. Uh, they still haven't showed his face. They just showed his helmet. It's Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite, Halo which Infinite. could be anything. Yeah. Like I, so I, I wrote a note here, now I can't remember what it relates to. I wrote the word Slip Space, and I can't remember what that was. Slip Space was the engine, engine. Okay. they're running on, which is Fine. not a name I've heard before. No. But I presume what they're signalling with that is this is the start of a net, a new... A new, new chapter. A new chapter. Finish the fight again, again. Yeah. No, okay. actually finish the fight. Or we're, never we're re- finish the fight. Well, it's infinite. It's infinite. Infinite war. So, who knows? 343, you're doing it. Yep, they said specifically Master Chief. Yep, it's more Halo. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's kind of a... sure, but I mean, there's zero details about yeah. dates or anything for that thing. So uh, next it was Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Yep. Follow up to Ori and the Blind Forest. This was announced last year. Yes, um, but they showed some more. Looks very very pretty. It, yeah, totally. It looks Sounds like one of very games. very good, much yeah. like the original Ori. Yes, for sure. um, they did show some of the the actual gameplay and it did look like the crazy platform in the Ori had as well yeah. where it was like jumping through like multiple levels and there was a, there was a point in the trailer where she, uh, Ori is the the, is the little thing, thing yeah. um, where I he think. threw like a laser uh, like a lightning bolt yeah. to get someone is that a new thing I don't I remember that from rem- the last it's one. been a while since I've played Ori I can't remember but it looked like like mid jump he was throwing it to clear a path so it yeah. land and stuff the, like the whole point about Ori was that there were like new movement mechanics and like just new ways to keep up your like jumping mm. and moving and yeah, yeah. so it's, I think it's going to be the same idea okay um, makes sense yeah looks very pretty is there a date on that yet uh, no I have written down okay so I cool. don't know I don't think there was that uh, third was the FromSoft Eastern right. Souls game called Ser- C- Serico 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 yeah. Serico Shadows Die Twice yes um, good name yeah um, it, it is the the Eastern inspired Souls like game that they have been teasing for a while. Yeah, they've been teasing it in Dark Souls. They told they teased it in Bloodborne. Like it's like they got to the point where Bloodborne talked a lot about part, the Eastern blood. That was like part uh, of their announcement trailer was their character dying and saying no 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 and then coming back. Yeah, it gets again. back up. Like yeah. it's is very much one of those had, games. It had seems. the transforming weapon thing it looked like from Bloodborne. Yep. Like the, the guy did a thing and his weapon changed. What were they called? Action? What? No, they're trick weapons. What called. Trick, trick weapons. weapons. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, it also had a grappling hook, yep. which may overcome the entire problem I have with the Soul series being the combat is boring as piss. Yeah. Whereas if you have a grappling hook and can jump around all and actually have good movement, I the, might actually be okay. Well, with I mean, it. the worrying thing is that movement in those games have never been particularly good. No, they've been like, bad. Yeah. I mean, it's basically all two D, right? You're yeah. all on the ground. Yeah. So if having, you go vertical, having some it's mainly the mainly the thing I cared about was speed. Right. Like the. Yeah, I understand there's things in Dark Souls that can mean like you can move faster, but even when you move faster, you still move so slowly. It was a much more slow-paced yeah. combat. Whereas if you... The guy was like grappling hooking and flying over yeah. things, and so that might be cool. Totally. So, I, I like, good for all I you like people that, that like Dark game. Souls games. I like that style of game in that, style, in that era. When I say style, I mean visual style of mm. those games. So like, if you can get something that has interesting combat as opposed to brutal combat, then yeah. I'm kind of... I might be into that. Yeah. Uh, and thing. some of the creature stuff looked like from software like it looks like yeah. their their style of thing so. that'll that'll come out when it comes out because yeah. it's a from software game yep. that could take forever yep uh, next we got Todd Howard out on stage oh, talking right. about how Bethesda love the Xbox and how Fallout's coming to Game Pass or Fallout 4 is coming to Game Pass yep and then they showed off a CG trailer for Fallout 76 with, a, with some of the stuff from the original trailer but a lot of like here's the story yeah it was a lot more the, the the trailer seemed a lot more focused on this idea of like the new wasteland yeah. frontier style so you guys what, are foraging the... so what the, what's the, the lore thing about 76? So 76, like first... 76 was the, the vault that was supposed to be filled with the people that would let be let out into the wasteland first right so 20 years after the bomb drop okay 76 is supposed to open and right. people are supposed to go out and it's, it's the new frontier right. is the look this new Wait, wasteland the, exists a big part of the trailer was them saying like you'll need to build like it it's one of those things where, like, you have to draw comparisons between what the trailer was, or w- what was actually in the trailer, and what you think the gameplay will be. Where the trailer had a whole section where they were, they were 
what looked like maybe the president was addressing the people. Of yeah, Sunny someone Six. was the, I, what it sounded like. It was probably the head of Vault Tech, right. or someone who was like, but he was, this he was is what you're doing. He was explicitly saying like, you'll not just have to rebuild towns and cities. Yeah, it's which, hearts and and mines hearts and mines and, and civilization and all this kind of stuff, which kind of ties into the rumor that was floating around from that Kotaku article that it's like you're going to build cities. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have a community yeah. and all that. Yeah, the, which the, is. For what they're trying to go for is the sort of the direction you would take, yeah, where totally. it's supposed to you're building your and own town and that one specifically didn't have any like real. I mean, I had gameplay, but it was not West really. Virginia, yeah, that's what. That um, but so I assume that's going to be in two hours of time. At yeah, Bethesda. more than that. Yeah. Three hours time. Three hours time. Sorry. Um, yeah, they said it's four times the size of Fallout Four, which scares the crap out of me. Like f- those games barely hold together, and any time they go, it's bigger. It's four times bigger. Like. Mm, you have to fill it with stuff, and that stuff has to work. So, we'll yeah. see. Uh, next was a, a really cool little announcement. Was it feels like we're going through this really quickly, but this is the speed they we have to. Yeah, there's it a lot was, to talk about. They just kept going. It's also just like, that's kind of how much that's, they showed. Yep, like, totally. There's yep. not really a lot else to talk about. Uh, really cool little announcement from Don't Nod with Life is Strange, right. the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. So did, free... It didn't have Life is Strange, it said... In the Life is Strange universe. It said in the Life... But it doesn't have the Life is Strange branding on no, the title at the, all? No, the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. Yeah, uh, a free side story coming out on June twenty sixth. Yeah, like it doesn't seems even... to be about a kid with a really wild imagination. Yeah, it doesn't like... seem like it's a, even a side story. It seems like it's just like a short story. Yeah, in so the thing universe. In, that's happening in the. Um, yeah, it looks so like... I don't know if it's like that kid then has like weird expanded powers to where his imagination because it seems like the, the kid's like out in the back garden pretending to be a superhero. Yeah, and fighting snowmen that he's built, but then. It's flipping backwards and forwards to him actually being a superhero yeah. in weird locations. Totally. So I don't know if it's like he's manifesting that or if it's just a camera trick or whatever. I mean, they've done but... they've they've done stuff like that before, where the the some of some of the the tail end of the last uh, the Beyond the Storm the epilogue from Beyond yeah. the Storm where Chloe uh, sorry uh, Max and no. God, who are the characters? I can't it, help it was you. Chloe like that. and uh, Rachel were doing. Uh, they, they were going over the times when they used to play, like they pre- used to pretend to be pirates in their back garden. Yeah, and there's a lot of stuff of them like it didn't quite cut to like them actually being pirates, yeah. but it was very close. Sure, at points. Okay. So they've done this kind of stuff before. Yeah, that's super interesting. Like nice little side story. If Don't yeah. Nod just want to do like here's some short stories in the Life of Strange world, that's I'm yeah. totally fine with that. And it was also like this might not be related at all, but on the start of this week. Um, I booted up Steam and got a 1.5 gig update to Life is Strange with zero patch notes. I, yeah, I don't know. So I don't know if there's like, if this thing is going to be like DLC for that or maybe, whatever it yeah. is. But, I don't know. And it did say 100% free, which is weird. So maybe it just does launch out of the... And it's maybe. like end of the month, so... Yeah, yeah. Well, not even end of the month, like a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, I want to see that. That seems uh, cool. Next was Crazy Terry Crews being Crazy Terry Crews Crackdown. in a Crackdown 3 I genuinely didn't expect trailer of him just screaming and yeah. being all crazy and I, look at this car that becomes a tank and then there's a big gun and rubber ducks that explode and choo-choo boom, motherfuckers and all that stuff. What was the Booyashaka? Was that what you boom shouted? Shakalaka. Boom Shakalaka. Yeah, he did the NBA Jam yeah. thing. Um, that game's, what, delayed till February? February 2019. Yeah. And again, like, I think at this point even they know because they didn't show anything new about that game. It no. was just like... Crackdown's still coming, and here's the date. Still doing Crackdown. And I mean, the, we, we know it had been delayed due to rumours, but this was them officially doing their thing. Yeah. But like, sure, like, we'll see what that game is when it comes out. Seems to just be Crazy crackdown. Terry Crews being crazy. a Crackdown it's man. It's a really good rendition of uh, uh, Reconstruction of Terry Crews on that thing. Yeah, they did. They, they modelled they did them quite well. Oh, yeah. um, next, very, very quickly saying Neo Automata version on Xbox yeah. One. Don't Become as God editions. Don't buy that game. <laughs> game's bad. This game's actively it's not, bad. It's, it's not an argument that you're going to win. But I know, yes. but that game's actively bad. Just um, saying to people. Next, Metro Exodus. Um, yeah, some some more gameplay. I just that. the first thought I have written is choo choo in capital letters because uh, it seems to be about a train going yeah. through Russia. It, p- it appears to be like people living on or like these yeah. So it seems a lot more open world as opposed to yeah. the other Metro games, which mm. were quite not railroady but very dicey. Railroady Metro, yeah. haha. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it seems a lot more open. It seems like you're still playing as RTM. Who's how, the... many, how many of those Metro games have you played? Both of them. Not all the way through, but right. I've played both of them. Okay. Um, 
looks cool. Like yeah, totally. it, it's a, the the world of Metro is always very interesting. There's a really cool moment where, like, obviously because a lot of their stuff is like scavenged and bolted together. There was a there was a part in that trailer where he put his backpack in the it looked in game and he put his backpack in the ground and pulled his gun up and you saw him like attaching. Yeah, it was like the things. crisis thing where you could go. Yeah, you could yeah. put bits on the thing and then you, when you're done, he zips his backpack up and puts it back on. Yeah, again. which is an interesting. Thing. Yeah, um, they like, still have like, the like gas mask stuff and the hand generator. That and... gas mask. Like he wiped his face. <laughs> they, he wiped his face, but they've also done the thing before. Like obviously they've done like visor management stuff in those yeah. games before, but like this one specifically had this giant big bit of duct tape just right on yeah. the glass. So that was a thing in the other Metro games as well. Oh, really? Like your mask could get damaged and it would have weird oh, repairs and stuff okay. on it. Yeah. It wasn't a permanent thing. No. Okay. Um, but it was. It's still in keeping with the idea totally. of yeah, yeah. Metro. Yep. Uh, February twenty second, twenty nineteen. Like every other game in the Seems goddamn to be planet out. Yeah, is end, coming out end, February twenty second. Uh, next, they showed a lot about Kingdom Hearts three. Um, Weird that that was there. I didn't expect this. Yeah, to be there. It's, a, it's just but a little I, thing. It's a, it's a, it's it's a it's kind of a win win situation for Microsoft, right? Because that game's never been on a Xbox platform yeah, before. Yeah, all of those games. And are also, Sony. like, it's coming to everything, so Square Enix might as well just do it there. Yeah, show whatever so, you can. Yeah, showed, and Sony, Sony have already said like we're not particularly interested in third parties this year. Yeah, so. showed Frozen Land, showed Lion King summon, mm-hmm. showed Wreck It Ralph summon. Um, Monster Zinc yeah. and all the like I, the hits from Kingdom Hearts. I take a lot of piss out of that game just because of how long it's been in development. But yeah, like, I'm probably gonna end up playing it. Like, it yeah. seems like one of those things. I'm interested I'm, to see you not knowing the full story of Kingdom Hearts. I need to trying watch, to understand. I need Kingdom to watch Hearts that hour and a half video. Yeah. Of like, here's what happened. Because we were watching, insane. We were watching that trailer, and you're like, "Is that Aurora? No, Aqua. Aqua. Yeah. Like, is that Aqua? I was like, yeah. it is Aqua. Yeah. Okay. The 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 big reveal at the end is that Aqua is still alive and she's gonna come back. Um, sure. because she has been entrapped in the realm of darkness right. for the entirety of the Kingdom Hearts timeline. <laughs> okay. That's a character that we didn't know existed but has okay. been trapped there forever and Mickey's still there. There's a... They also did... It sounds, a, the, I, don't know, I don't know if there's a new voice actor for Sora or if it's someone it, else. It is for sounds sure. really weird. It's a new voice actor for Sora. Yeah. For sure. It sounds strange. It, there's, um, a, there's a moment in every one of those trailers you see where like a lot of it like even though there's like Goofy and Donald in there and like yeah. all of the Frozen characters and all of this kind of stuff you still watch it going this is a really this, like this is a Japanese ass looking game yeah. and then there's a really serious moment and they open like this guy's like looking at a portal through something well, yeah, and it's fucking Mickey Mouse's the head reveal, <laughs> the reveal of Aqua was like her in full darkness and then Mickey sticks his head through like, that like does... oh no <laughs> and you're like oh yeah you forget how dumb these games are sometimes Mickey Mouse cannot deliver serious lines yeah. in that voice like yeah. it's not well, possible. like, it was the fact that in Kingdom Hearts 2, like, Mickey Mouse delivered, like, the big plot twist of Kingdom Hearts 2 right. on his own. And it's like, it's not the person you want dealing with these, like... It's not wasn't a big, serious, like, twist, but it was still a twist. Sure. Um, next, they talked about Sea of Thieves, um, two new expansions, Cursed Sails and Forsaken Shores. One July, one in September? Yep. Sounds like uh, ghost ships and weird volcanic islands. Volcanic islands. They still talked about a new... Um, like a new landmass, yeah. specifically. Of weird volcanoes like, and whatnot. I really like that trailer because it's the part of Sea of Thieves I hoped was going to be in there. Like a very kind of animated character. There was two there was two sides to it, right? There was the fact that like these are these these two people were characters that were interacting. Like it, yeah. it, it's the voodoo woman who does yeah. the or the skulls. The woman who takes the voodoo skulls. Um talking about her stuff. And then, like, your pi- the pirate dude runs up, dumps all his stuff, and she goes, oh, this is a portents from yeah. the future. She gives the whole spiel. Yeah, and then, and then they cut back, and the pirate's just, like, checking his compass, and she's like, you just wonder how much this costs, doesn't you? Yeah. And you're like, I, gra- I get that you're accepting that, and there's a lot of character here that I really like. Yeah. But, like... You're worried how wh- that manifests. Where is that in the rest of this yeah. game? And so also, the, why you're not focusing I'm, on that? I'm willing to give that game more of a chance when I yeah. played... After I played the Hunger Games, you had that, like stuff. a second coming with that game, and it was really fun. Right. Like it was really cool. Um, there was a lot. Granted, there was a lot of like personal story in that, sure. but it was still it was cool. Like it was an interesting thing to do, and it involved like meeting people and like chatting people online and stuff. Yeah. It, was, it was interesting. Sure. So I'm willing to give that game totally uh, a shot. Th- that game is for people who are not me. It and was I totally. Get that. It, it was. It was totally going to be the thing that was going to be on our like. Yeah, this has got to be the worst game. But now I'm like, no, I'll defend that thing. Okay. Like, it's got a... Fair enough. Um, then it was a very, very quick gameplay trailer for Battlefield Five single player. Yeah, what which seemed to was have a lot, that? It was very quick. and it seemed, But it seemed to have, like, a lot of actual, like, 
meaning and heart and character there was some story but, there yeah. like there was some there was not like it feels like when they when they did the battlefield stuff yesterday ea when they said like and we're doing like war stories and it was like oh these are gonna be like little siloed scenarios yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're not gonna be huge and all this kind of stuff. like it felt there was some plot yeah, there was some narrative plot, to plot, that plot voice acting character like it was some well animated character yes. work and like so there might be but something there. it was very quick yeah um, yeah like where else are they get like are they gonna do a big chunk at sony like I don't know. Because, like, they've had their chance. Like, they've done EA. But, yeah, that's the thing. Because Sony do, like... Battlefield, are, as far as I know, are exclusivity with Microsoft for their stuff. Because Call of Duty went to... I, yeah, I don't know. So, I don't... No like, idea. If they go through all of E3 and that's all they showed for that yeah. game, that's real weird. Um, Next was Forza Horizon 4. <laughs> Weirdly poignant for us because it's set in Britain. Yeah. And yeah. it was a lot of us going, oh, look, it's fucking Edinburgh. But it was and, like, yeah. there was literally a shot of like a supercar going up Princess Street in Edinburgh. Yeah. And I was like, we're like, like, we know where that is. That's like, like, it's over there. That's like, 20 minutes yeah. away. What, what are we doing? Um, which is pretty cool. Like, it looks great. Like, all driving games do E3. Looks fantastic. It's, it's interesting um, though that it's, it's a different slant on Horizon because Horizon has always been like the kind of big bombastic kind of Yeah, that was colored. the, hey, we're doing a big party in the desert somewhere. Yeah. And like, so, and, I mean, this one did have that. Like, there were points where it's like, like, this is quite clearly in like the English countryside, but there's also this big ass blimp. Yeah, and it was very strange. Which is yeah. So the Horizon Party has come to Britain. Yeah, um, looks like it. What have I got written down here? Looks good as always. Dynamic seasons was the big thing they were talking yeah. about. How like swapping weather changes everything. Totally. Like so the idea- it, like freezes over ice and yeah. So like your lakes then become solid and you can yeah you can drive on the lakes. You can shout drift. Well yeah, that was the other thing. So they talk about how it's a <laughs> dynamic world, uh, and like you'll meet up with real people on the road. Yeah. I don't know if that means that your cars can interact and you just have dickheads who are going to ram you off the road the entire time. Yeah, it'd but be interesting. I assume not because that would kind of ruin it. Yeah. But they had like little emotes, and my favorite one was they showed a. a a bit of like a bunch of cars going down a mountain drifting around a corner and one of the guys in the middle literally started a thing that said drifting yeah they had these like little, um, little chat text yeah, like, bubbles about them chat which were obviously like preloaded yeah it's like pipe on a wheel style thing yeah 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 uh, but one of them just said drifting and I'm like that's all I want on yeah. my bar so I want to be able to do that while doing that but then also like when I take a huge jump I want to be able to shout drifting through I want, the I want that and I want the just like I'm on mixer I'm on mixer is a yeah it's a good one um, hey dudes hit me up on Mixer that's yeah, yeah. Um, I also randomly wrote down where's your battle royale mode I don't know why I wrote that down but for for Forza <laughs> I thought that was funny 100 <laughs> cars dropping an island yeah I mean that's a Horizon thing right they all drop off and have a wild party except they have to ram each other I guess I don't know totally um, they then talked about a bunch of studios that Microsoft have apparently picked up um, right yeah so there's the initiative which is a brand new thing that they didn't talk about anything they're doing they just said yeah they're focused on major story and highlighting how they, good the they, people are they didn't even talk about like where the people came from no they I just said think. it's top people it's top men are on it um okay, sure then they said undead labs the say the state of the k people yep. got picked up by microsoft state of the k was always them. a game that microsoft aligned themselves with so it makes sense that they yeah. kind of picked that studio up uh playground where the people that did forza horizon yes and apparently are working on something else yep don't know what we don't even know if it's a driving game, right? Nope, they just said, they just a, said new a new project. Yep. Um, Ninja Theory, the Hellblade people. That was interesting. Like, Microsoft making a pitch for, like, those style of games was... Well, we need to see what they do next, right? Like, if the next thing that they do is also in the style of cinema, where it's, like, but even AAA, if the, but, but even if you look at the things that Hyper Theory did before, right? Ninja Theory. Ninja Theory. Um, <laughs> Not the Lincoln Park album. The Lincoln album. Park album? Weird. Yeah. Um, yeah, so like, because they did DMC and they did yep. um, the thing before that, uh, the PS4 launch, Heavenly, Heavenly Sword. Sword. Yeah. Like, the, those kind of games are not things that you normally get. No. So. Uh, but. Does it, yeah, but. It depends on I, the it means, you go it, on. It, it at least means we don't lose out on a sequel to Hellblade or something else that they do like that. Yeah. Um, because obviously how good Hellblade was Ninja Theory are now very top of our radar so yeah, like yeah. we need to pay attention to what these people are yes, doing for sure um, then it was Compulsion who are the people that make are making We Happy Few yes and then they showed off a little bit of We Happy Few right yeah they didn't show gameplay they showed a very narrative focused trailer yeah I don't we don't I don't know if that game's the same game as we think it is anymore. So I don't the, know if it's still a survival game. Yeah, so the big the But big, there was a lot of story there. The big um, thing from last time was that people like showed the initial the in, what looked like the intro to that hmm. game, which was like you're censoring newspapers and you they, they And there was you, a little bit of that in that trailer. And they tell you about joy and all this kind of stuff. But then this was like more of that in yeah. like 
different variety, different locations and different yeah. character, and like, it, they were characters. And they, and they were talking about it from the the trailer seemed to talk about it from the perspective of the other people who are like trying to uprise against these people yes. who are on Joy. And, yeah. Um, there was a, there was a the guy the character at the start with the Scottish accent yeah. who very much felt like because it was him talking to the lead woman from the previous yeah. trailer yeah and like him going like why are you even wearing this mask what yeah. are we doing to these people like these people are and happy it, and starving like it seemed like on? the there was a shot of a woman at the end that looked like that woman without as well, the mask but without the joy yeah. without the mask so that could be an interesting story of like totally coming around and yeah trying so to up, right? like what do you do with that game then because that game then became like a survival yeah game, i've got no idea of like do you no idea do you turn that down and make it something else do uh you... i hope they show off what it is because it's coming out apparently august 10th this right. year yeah. um so they should probably sure up people and make sure people know what that is yeah um but idea is still really cool I love still really interesting good yeah, style for sure but they just need to let us know what that game is yep um, real creepy visuals in that thing yeah like really combining, unsettling combining the weird sort of like 60s Britain yeah. style like pop yeah style with this horrific post-war yeah it's, it's strange yeah, it's, it's a great sort of idea of like complete opposite ends of a yep. spectrum um then they talked about PUBG um how that is console exclusive to Xbox. Yep. Talked about new map Sanok is coming out in summer. Yeah. It looks like a Asian Vietnam style yeah. island yep. setting. War mode is a thing. But the, it, yeah, the interesting that I was in that trailer, which means they're keeping war mode, it looks like. Cause well, people liked it. so Totally, but they've also, like, people also liked their, the, whatever the, like, million shotguns mode they had in it yeah, for yeah. a couple of months ago. So it seems like they keep that thing around, which is good because, like, the problem with that game is that you don't get to shoot guns enough. Yeah, so enough yeah, to learn. The, the war mode is like if you just, if you really want to go in and just have a quick thing, yeah. just go do war mode, and you're yep. like in shooting people within a matter of seconds. Yep. Um, and then they, there was a quick thing of like winter 2018 having some sort of snow map. It looked like a snow map. Yeah, yep. just a shot of some snow. And that seems that's the first thing that's been a time that's been announced. Yes, so, um, that makes sense. Then a weird thing, winter this year for a Tales of Vesperia remaster. Yeah, it's a... Don't know where that came from. It's a from, name that I know people have high respect for. It's part of a long for. series of Tales games, yeah. yeah. Um, um, and it's a remaster of that game. Of Vesperia. Um, I know someone who's currently playing Viseria, I think. Right. But if you like the Tales games, you like the sure. Tales games. totally. Um, then, nice big long showing for Division 2. Yeah, that, that was cool. very excited. That was very cool. Because uh, we do like the Division quite yep. a lot. Uh, this one is set in Washington. Yep. Um, in summer as opposed to winter. Yep. Virus is still outbreaking, and they're talking about new civil war between. So it, it seemed like this was because if I was reading the trailer right, it was twenty seven days after Day Zero. Yeah. So it seems like this is running in parallel to Division One, like yeah. just in a different city. Yeah. And um, a different time and like ecology is the word I was yes, looking for. Yes, sorry. Different. Um, looks a lot like the Division. Yeah. Looks very nice. It looks like a lot more of cool powers and more stuff. of it. Like yeah. some cooler, some really cool. Um, devices and yes, they're like they, they, sh- they showed off like the the, the foam yeah there's a weird foam trap where something got their leg caught there was Which like is, a weird swarm drone thing yeah. that looked interesting oh yeah they dropped the thing they dropped down and all the missiles came yeah, out yeah there's a bunch yeah. of like little things that all seeked to a location yep. which yep. was pretty cool um but yeah they had the classic ubisoft fake voice calm between people is it weird which people shit on and i really like it like but we're start people like we're starting to turn around on that like it's like it's super easy to do it badly like yeah. i think the um if you scrapped it too much the wildlands one was bad oh yeah that was real bad um and but the original and division was the first the first game to do first that one i can remember yeah the, where they first introduced this thing and this was the one that like, this is the closest one to like these are some people who know each other that are playing a video they game. Say, they, they sound more human minus the swearing but yeah. like there was enough like because there was a moment in there where that's, like that's what that would be better see if they did it and they'd let them swear that would be really cool because yeah. then it would actually be like that like would... the, when they were talking to there's a bit in it where the they're talking to one of their friends and everybody's top level apart from one person who's a level off if you were real you would say Kim come the fuck on why have you not leveled up yeah. and she'd be like I piss off I'm at work all week and she did like, that, that, she, like, she did say she, that no, she, she said oh, I've been I'm busy, busy. Like, but I'm... like you would if someone said that to you you'd be like fuck off like yeah. I'm an adult like, I'm but my, my, my one was when um, one of the guys went down and oh he, yeah, and he was just like, "Oh!" And the reaction was, "Oh, I'm down." Yeah, not, not like, "Fuck!" Ah! Or anything like that. Yeah. Like, it was like, "Oh shit, I'm down. Can yeah. somebody help me?" Someone um, get me up. Yeah, like that. It felt realistic, and it communicated what that game is. And yeah, Division Two, super awesome. Like, like I said, while we were watching that trailer, like the moment where there's a 
uh, the parachute that's come through the thing with a obviously like a drop in it that you have to get. Like because yeah. they, they had those drones in yeah in thingy, and they dropped and um like the noise happened went, and the purple went yeah. up and I got legitimate chills. I'm yeah. like, oh right, yes, it's that noise again. More of that, please. Uh, March fifteenth, twenty nineteen. Good. So not too far off. Yeah, but. We'll get it eventually. Because <laughs> there's nothing coming out in the end of February, so it'll be fine. No, we need, need that God mid-March game to get us through. God damn it. Um, then they spent a lot of time talking about Game Pass. Um, they, they previewed this fast start thing. Yeah. Which apparently is like two times faster so, play while download this using was, machine learning. Yeah, so Microsoft's always really interesting when because they, they, they always have something that's a little bit more tech than... The like then is a normal yeah. consumer thing. So they basically talked about provided that Sony don't bring out Mark Cerny. Yeah, and yeah, Cerny so, yeah. likes talking tech. Not launching new hardware, so yeah. it's fine. Um, but they basically talked about this thing being so like all of the all of the like, this generation of consoles had uh and PC have had it now for a while where yeah. like you don't have to wait for the whole game to download before you start playing the game. No, but that was always a thing that developers had to account for. So developers would have to say download this chunk first and then the rest of the game yeah what they're saying with this fast start thing is that they can use machine learning to look at how people use the game and the files that that are installed with the game yeah realize work out automatically what parts need to come first and then ship that bit which means you get the fast start stuff without the developers having to do anything which is a really interesting way of using machine learning totally that's a legitimate like that is what machine learning does cool use of machine learning you give it a bunch of data and it spits you a an answer. Goes, okay, go that's here, 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 here. Yeah. Um, that's an attainable goal. Yeah. Good which, idea. Which I, which I liked. Um, uh, they then talked about how there's a bunch of stuff coming for Game Pass, Halo mm-hmm. Master Chief Collection. Yeah. A bunch of all the new games like Forza and so all coming to Game Pass. Every but, game, every game they showed has a PC version except for Halo. Right. So I wonder if that's going to be the announcement we'll find when that out. comes out. Yeah. But it, um, the Game Pass stuff was interesting because I wouldn't mind playing some Halo games. Yeah, totally. Cool. I I only ever played one in a bit and two. Yeah. That was about it. I would like to play the others. Um, but yeah, like I, it's got to the stage where I'm like, Game Pass might be viable. Game Pass might be a thing I could pick up and yeah. fuck around with. Yeah. Um, especially if they release stuff that we haven't. Yeah had access to it before especially like yeah Microsoft exclusive uh, stuff that's only just they said PC. out today is Tom Clancy's Division Elder Scrolls Online and Fallout 4 yep. you can go and get that now I wonder what it's like to come in from 0 to Division 1 don't know like cause I assume the Game Pass stuff doesn't have the expansions so I don't know what well no but like even then like that core game has changed so much that like yeah that's true because us coming in from day one and then watching them re- refactor do all the, the systems, stuff yeah yeah like that's if you true. come in now and hopefully they've got a thing go, okay here's how it actually works yeah and you can run through that uh they then did all their indie idea xbox stuff yeah they, a lot of the names that i have written down yeah are something called waking yep uh something called sable yep and harold halibut Harold Halibut and the Handmade Adventure. Yeah. yeah. Don't know what that is, but they all sound cool. We couldn't even write down descriptions of these things because yeah. they do it was those just trailers like go, 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 go. So, but, um, but those are names you should Google. It was and that a, we're going to Google after this. It was a long period of them talking about, hey, we're still doing indie stuff, yeah. which is good. Which is what you want. to keep doing for that. Sure. Uh, they then showed off CG trailer for Lara Croft Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Yeah. Wait, Shadow of the Tomb Raider? Is that Shadow right? of the Tomb Raider. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Yeah, looks. Cool. I really like, like those games. Um, Lara predatored herself up by covering herself in mud and pointed that bow at the back of that guy's skull. Yeah, and... it's entirely unnecessary. Yeah. Um, yeah, if the story of that game is Lara finally going one step too far and really fucking up an ecosystem, or like a like a like really messing with a culture, oh, right. yeah, 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 really destroying way, that tomb, like yeah. something that she's been doing since game one anyway. But yeah. like, if they actually, she actually has to like, there are consequences Answer to for her it. Yeah, because it looked like the trailer, like she grabs, like it looked vaguely like Mexican or Mayan or yeah, there's a lot of Cinco de Mayo, yeah, imagery, imagery. around. So she grabs some dagger Muertes, and then so a bunch of people turn and go, "You have no idea what you've done." Yeah, and a lot of things start falling apart. Yeah, it, it cut from her pulling a dagger out to like a village getting flooded. So. Mm. Bad things are happening because of Lara's actions. They've started to do, and like the those games always tread a line that they don't hold very well. Where it's about Lara growing as a. Oh, do you mean Ludo narrative distance? <laughs> thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Um, I hate that phrase. It's a terrible. Well, it's a descriptive phrase, but you know. It's uh, But they, yeah, like her, her dealing with like morality and 
killing people as a pers- as a as yeah, a thing yeah. and then just murdering all these dudes with bows like I have no idea how to survive bang 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 yeah thing. like back and shoot a gun real yeah, well she knows how to fire a pistol so hopefully they can get back to some of that and being like no like you fucked up these people like deal with it yep could be cool uh, next the most rug pullingest announcement of dude on skateboard ha <laughs> And everybody going, wait, are they doing Skate 4? What's going on? Because it's a running joke that EA will never make Skate 4. Everyone's asking for Skate Everyone 4. Everyone wants Skate 4, but they'll go never and look make at, it. For people who haven't seen this for, go look at EA's Instagram yes. page. EA's Instagram or any EA live stream ever. Yeah. And you will see a lot people of comments. People will just say Skate 4. Asking for hashtag Skate 4. Um, and they showed a trailer of a man. It looked like a video being shot of someone else on a skateboard of someone doing cool skateboardy things. Yep. And I was, I was going, wait, is this Skate 4? Are they doing Skate 4? No, it was a guy wiping out and then sk- skateboarding the street to a game called Session. Session, which um, is a decent name for what that... Doing another skateboarding game in 2018, which is interesting. Yeah, like... Yeah, I wonder who's asking for that. I don't... I mean, there are people asking for Skate 4, but whether they like... Whether do they want a skateboarding game or do they want Skate, skate 4? Skate 4, exactly. That's different. That's, that's a very different thing. Um, I, what I thought wanted to happen was them to come up with session and then after like 10 seconds for it to come up saying skate for colon the session yeah but Give it's it a game name. called session yep uh mm-hmm. then another really kind of more shitty rug pull which was they showed a really interesting looking fantasy game oh, right yeah where it was, was like really big narrative talking I, about mages and really cool villages and i cannot apologize enough for doing this to you <laughs> i know and there was like really cool design everywhere and then there was a big fight with a golem and they were talking about people dying multiple times and then there was some there was a shot of like a mage channeling a huge spell and you went is this dragon's dogma too yeah and i went oh it totally could be because it's like big channels and blah, 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 and got really excited it was an ad for black desert online that weird japanese mmo thing so what like is that just it coming to consoles no it's been on xbox before i think they're talking about it like expansion or something okay i, 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 love, I, I, love I, I lost complete attention I love how s- you were so angry you didn't even look at what it was <laughs> you specifically yeah. you for making me think it was dragon's that dogma. was my fault i apologize uh, for that. but it was all made up for by the next announcement because um right devil may cry 5 is happening actually so for people devil may cry 5 not dmc 2 yeah like playing yes. along at home dmc it looks like they f- f- are trying to forget that game existed despite the, that being my well, favorite game i, I guess series. ninja theory are doing other things so. but like they're not even taking it as like canon or oh right sure like it yeah. seems like they've just ditched forget yeah. that thing exists so and that now, was my favorite they've now gone back past four yeah and are now doing devil may cry 5 like, the so, initial shot, however, looked fucking incredible yeah. because it was who I think is Nero. Yeah. Because it was a shot of him with like a weird robot, robot hand, hand yeah. which Nero had the crazy demon hand before. Um, jumping out of a bus and doing weird spinning stuff while skateboarding a missile. Yes. And his little companion catching a cigarette out of the air by jumping at it and looked mental. It looks fantastic for yeah. Devil May Cry. Um, yep. and then there was a lot of shots of I think Dante's in it I think I saw Dante that on a motorcycle that looked like who that was on the motorcycle yeah. at the end because I was talking to someone about this and there's like the shot of Nero losing his hand mm. and it just looked like a tall dude with sweat back hair and I was like is Dante the villain and he's like no it could be Virgil but then Virgil right. died in 3 right but is he really dead is um, anyone ever yeah, really dead who knows things? But who fuck cares? Because it's going to be another Devil May Cry game, yeah. and I'm very excited. <laughs> totally, I was I was originally excited. It was like I I. It just felt really weird for the director of that game to come on stage, like the old the, and do like we listened, we know what you want. And, yeah, but like yeah. to actively say like we've waited eight years to bring Devil May Cry back. It was like there was a DMC game four yeah. years ago, or it something was like. very very good, and it was a very good game. Very like, very good. You're just trying to pretend this didn't exist. Yeah. Was, yeah. Anyway. But they've gone back, and yeah, I don't care. It's, sure. <laughs> it's Devil May Cry it's a, Five. It's a game very for those excited. people. It's probably not a game for me. So um, they then back. talked about a an expansion for Cuphead, right? Uh, the delicious last course, yeah. um, featuring new playable character Miss Chalice. Miss Chalice. Uh, and I, I liked how it was like a, a, an actress name as yeah, Miss Chalice. The Golden Chalice, Chalice as Miss Chalice. Yeah. Um, the Eternal Chalice as Miss Chalice. Eternal Chalice. And Chef Salt Baker. Chef. Yep. Yeah whoever that is yep. talked about new island new bosses new weapons weapons new charms all that stuff 2019 cool more sure. cuphead yep. more cool things to look at I would have to. thought those guys would never want to go back to that thing after they finally finished it 
I'm surprised they can come back to it so quickly. Because if they're doing one more island, that's a lot more drawing and yeah. a lot more music and a lot more things you have to do. Unless this is stuff they cut from oh, the maybe. original one that they, yeah, maybe. They've, they've finally finished. Um, yeah, more Cuphead. Yeah, Good. totally. Uh, they didn't show a Tunic. Uh, right. Looks like a weird Zelda game with from, a cool little fox man. So Finji is the studio Finji, behind it, yes. and that is the Night in the Woods people with, yes. a, bun- with a couple of other sure. creators. So Tunic was a game they showed last year. I think yes, I and it. uh, it's one developer who has now joined Finji, um, who built a lot of it. Uh, yeah, it's like a kind of polygonal. Um, when I say it's weird to say polygonal, but like polygonal styled. Yeah, um, that's that camera angle, but with uh, isometric camera. Yeah, looked looked like Zelda, but with slightly more actiony combat. Yeah, because there was like dodge rolls and stuff yeah. like that there. Um, that fox is adorable. Really adorable fox. Um, Most adorable fox of E three so far. So far, yes. Well, it's already a fox. I don't know, it's a weird spirit know. thing. It's a, yeah. But yes, definitely a very adorable fox. Mm-hmm. Um, the next game I have written down in all caps, so I'm going to shout it, and it's going to be Jump Force! Jump Force. Which is the Shonen Jump crossover <laughs> game. <There laughs> the was, Shonen Jump variety hour. There was, a, there was a One Piece man, and there was a Naruto, and there was a Goku. Uh, na- uh, na- actually, and there were multiple there Naruto's. There were multiple Naruto's because he did his weird thingy. Yep. There was Goku. You can and tell we're the bastions of Shonen Jump knowledge. <laughs> there was also the guy from Death Note. There was Light yeah. and Light Ryuk. And Ryuk. Um, um, it seems like they're the, the Shonen Jump people. Like, I imagine that is going to be a game like. Now I need to remember the name of this game. Fuck. What was the name of that game that came out on PS4 that had Jack from Bad World in it? That was that Rumble game. Oh right, you know um, the game I'm talking about. Yeah, sorry, I can't remember the name of it, but it's gonna be like that. Yeah, I yeah. think it looked like a. Yeah. Is it gonna be like that, or it's gonna be like Smash Brothers? Yeah, it looked but, like a brawler. Yes, basically. Um, What's the, the name of that game? Uh, I like that game, I can't remember what it was. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. So yes, many many animes. Weird, are weird looking version of Frieza Naruto. fucked up a city. Yeah, and Goku went Super Saiyan, and also like it was set in like our world. Like yeah, it looked like, like a Japanese like, city. Like, Luffy like, Luffy swung around the American flag at one yeah. point. Like it's. Yeah. Okay. I, cool. Like, I hope that the story of that thing is like all the like a dimension is opened up into our dimension and, and all the anime Goku comes, comes through. through. Yeah. yeah. Like it's it's what it's what everyone it's what all the anime fans have always wanted, where anime comes into the real world. And... Yeah. I should tell you about the story in PSO two after this oh, if yeah? you want that. Yeah. Okay. Um. Next was a really cool reveal of Dying Light two. Right. In Techland. Yeah. Um, this was one of the most interesting things I saw there. Yes. Yeah, so they talked about Chris Avalon came out on stage. Yeah. For those of you who don't know Chris Avalon as he's one of the most important writers of video game ever, <laughs> being a person who's worked on Planescape Torment and KOTOR, Kotor 2. Yeah. Um, Narrative designer. Very. He has worked on some of the best written games ever. Yes. So if you took a game that people love a lot, which is Dying Light, mm-hmm. and then did it, shortened up a bit, and then gave it a Chris Avalon story, very interested to see yeah. what that has to offer. So specifically the, the gameplay they were talking about in there was there are decision points that change the world itself yes. so the example they, they had in in the presentation was you, the, the peacekeepers have sent you to go negotiate with a faction who are hoarding all the water mm-hmm. so you're for instance if one of your options is if you fuck them up and free like let the water, the peacekeepers yeah. you then lets the peacekeepers hand out the water and like make the area flourish but also then they are very controlling and it becomes yeah. a police state or if you team up with the people who are hoarding the water to start selling stuff in the black market, like there's slightly more freedom of the world at that point. Like there's not, it's not as in yeah, control, but, but also water is a scarce resource, so bad people come to take the water. Take the and, water, yeah, because it's a, it's a resource. It's a different, different thing. And, uh, and they they use the phrase "modern dark age" a lot. Yeah, um, this is, because it seemed to be like not a lot of technology, yeah. but it is set in like a modern city. It's a, yeah, the ruins of a modern city. Um, and the, the the point is, the, the the thing I said to you while we were watching it was that a lot of a lot of games have tried to do this kind of thing where like, oh, your decisions will change yeah. the world. And there's always like five of those decisions. I get but, it's the same question, yeah. But they explicitly said in there like, this is one of a hundred decisions that yeah. you will make throughout the thing. So, yeah. so the, the thing that I can say to that is that the the Obsidian games that Chris Avalon has worked on yeah. are very good at... Oh, right! I didn't even make the connection between, like, 
dialogue choices yes. in Obsidian games. And but they're all... The games. The, the thing that those games do really well is that all the choices are very grey. Right. So, like, a traditional Bioware game is, like, Paragon Remonade. It's like, do you help them or do you kick them out of a window? Paragon Lemonade? Lemonade. Do you help them or do you kick them out of a window? Like, yep. the, bi- the Obsidian games are a lot more... You can choose to do one of these things, but they will have consequences. Yeah. Instead of them going, this is good, this is bad, they'll go, you can choose to do that, but here's all the a lot ways it'll fuck yeah. you up. Sure. Um, so with someone like that at the helm, yeah. might actually be very good for those sort of choices. Totally. Um, looks really, really cool. It does. Very it looks interesting. Nice. Yeah. Um, they, they seem to have um, tightened up. Like I didn't play Dying Light, but it seems like they tightened up the first person parkour stuff. Yeah, that was one of the strengths. I did play it, but I know people that really, really like it. Like one of the strengths that they talk about a lot is how good that thing moves around. Yeah. Um. It but look- if it looks smoother, yeah. then that it looked like helps. because there was like ridges, like um, molding on the 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 walls that they, like the character was like grabbing onto yeah. in a realistic looking way, as opposed to like this is quite obviously a preset handhold. Like it looked yeah. a little bit more fluid. Which is they jumped to that cool. canvas thing, the the, the Robin Hood. That was cool. Uh, that is thing. that is a cool thing that I want to do in more video games. Um, they then had a really short, really funny, self referential trailer for Battletoads. Fucking what? Yeah. In 2019, they're releasing another Battletoads game. Yeah. Like that's. And I mean, weird. The trailer did at least acknowledge that it wasn't really an announcement. They didn't show anything. No. But they they, were, they they in fact made the joke about how they were making big bold statements, non specific, non specific statements. Yeah. yeah. But. Battletoads in 2019? Making sure. Making a Battletoads game for 2019. Why? Um, then showed off Just Cause 4. Yeah. Um, I looked like a Just Cause game. Lots of explosions, lots of flying through the air and doing crazy stuff. But then there was also tornadoes and weather yeah, effects. They didn't and... even really talk about where it was set or anything, No, they? they just said it was like, there's a cartel and they have private armies and right. general sort of Just, just Cause, cause you need to go destabilize yeah. an area. Sort but of yeah, thing. The, the whirlwind and the tornado in the middle of the the place looked like the, a, a big new thing in there. Yeah, it felt it looked cleaner to me than the yeah. previous Just Cause games have. Mm. Yeah, that's and true. more detailed. It looked, it looked like a better Just Cause three, basically. Yeah. Um, Hopefully, it runs this time. Yes, I hope it runs way better than Just Cause three did. Um, cool little moments of Rico being Rico. Totally. Just I I like Rico as a character. The little the little moment of him saying like, "Does does me getting shot ha- happen a lot?" Yeah, yeah, like pretty that's, much. Yeah, that's kind of his character. Yeah, um, December fourth this year. Good time for that. Yes, that's not a like, lot of things come out in December, and it's a good time for you to just like that's your. Well, I'm gonna fuck around with this joke for Christmas. That yeah, kind of time. Good time. Yep. Uh, then it was their big time for their three gears games that they're working fuck. on. This was yeah. First one was really cool because I thought it was just gonna be an announcement of uh, gears Funko Pops. Because it was the Gears logo on a wall, mm. and then the chainsaw Lancer threw it, yep. and it was Marcus Phoenix. He's a Funko Pop. Yep. I was like, "Oh, they're doing Funko Pops. That's that's cool, I guess." But then it was like more Funko Pops, yeah. and then there were more Funko Pops, and they shot at each other. And I was like, I, "That could be a cool little game, like a Funko Pop, like Lego style thing, but Funko yep. Pops." And then they said, "Yeah, it's a mobile game." called Gears Pop but if, if you want to do a Lego style game as Fungal Pops like with that kind of um, like the old Lego yeah, games yeah they don't talk and, where they don't yeah. talk they mime yeah. like I'm into that that was very funny when they used that to do that could be alright again I will never forget the Lego Boromir death that's always funny really funny yeah always really funny but yeah if you do that cool but yep. mobile game yep uh, they then talked about Gears Tactics which you were out the room for I that I was out the room for that but um, apparently it looks like XCOM it looks a lot like down to the UI it looks oh, like XCOM okay like there was a the, the, they had like the like action points and they were moving they were in cover they were in uh, when they tried to fire it had like the over the shoulder camera on the target they had a thing that looked a lot like the Overwatch symbol. Like, it was very, very much very XCOM. XCOM. But with, like, some of the things they, they talked about was, like, destructible scenery was a big thing. Sure. And also boss fights. Like, you're, oh, fight, you're okay. fighting, like, a... What are the big dudes? Berserkers? No, know. the the huge things. I can't remember what they're I called. I played a Gears game. I don't know. Fought a bunch of them. I can't remember. General anyway. Ram. I know that's a person. <laughs> no. Marauders? I, I don't know. Remember. Anyway, the big dudes. Techers. Boomers. <laughs> add some leapers on the end of it um yeah so totally like i'd, I'd play a yes. tactics it says gears tactics is what gears calling it. uh they then showed off their trailer for gears 5 mm-hmm. coming in 2019 um focuses on kate 
Kate. Who's Kate. A, Kate. A character from previous Gears. Yeah. Yes. She was um, definitely in four, I think. She talks a lot about having visions and needing to go solve it. Yeah. So, like, like, like we literally just said, we have not played a lot of the Gears yeah, games. not played the Gears don't game. don't know the lore. Um, but this one, from an outside perspective, looked a lot more like intimate like quiet yeah it seems looked- to just be you and this other person going on this journey very yeah. god of war <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah um because you're going through this ice field as well yeah um but yeah if if it is like a a lot more personal story told in a gears universe i think that's an interesting totally. angle like, uh, and like i i don't know if that it felt like more story than they've done in one of these before yeah again this is all it, outside it felt, perspective it definitely but- felt it felt closer to like a last of us where it was like it's a much more restricted area yeah and like with just the two people, like there was a scene in a, like a like last a, was probably a better comparison. There was like yeah. a blown out kitchen, which seemed very quiet, and then suddenly everything went to shit yeah. very quickly. Like it felt like a Last of Us, yeah, like closer to Last of Us. Seems than cool. Like, a, like be interesting to see where that goes. Yep. Uh, coming in twenty nineteen. Uh, Phil Spencer then took to give his like final bit, talked about they are doing the games anywhere streaming on the cloud. Yeah, the service. Co- yeah, they're so, the people that have that architecture. Yeah, so. so Microsoft are one of the few companies that have the the hardware in place, the cloud infrastructure to be able to do something like that and do it well. Um, so, I, I mean, it's weird that everyone is now doing it. Like, I expected Microsoft and Sony to do it. Like yeah. Sony already doing it. Yeah. But I expected Microsoft to jump on board. I did not expect EA to do it yesterday. Yeah. Um, so, like, if Ubisoft do it tomorrow... Sure. Like, why? Yeah, like, like, their own thing? Yeah, like... But then why would they do it if, like, they talked about how the divisions on Xbox's thing. Why would but they, they talked that's their own... on Game Pass? Oh yeah, that's true. like Sorry. if yeah. they can do their own streaming stuff anywhere. Yeah, okay. Because because all all because they didn't actually show any games that were going to be on the streaming thing. So if that's going to be like first party only, or this is where it start, starts to get really really yeah, weird. you don't know where there's sure as shit not going to be any EA games on that on the Xbox One. No, right? Yeah, because so, they've got their own yeah, thing. Exactly. Uh, he then had a little. Gave his little three-year tease for the next, talking about how they're working on the next they Xbox. Showed, they showed the shadow of a box, which is seems very early. It's yeah, because that that's now following protocol. They've done their tease, which means next year they do their reveal, and then the year after they do their price and launch. Yeah, seems very quick. Three years since because the Xbox X came out last, last year, year, right? Yeah, so the one like, X was so th- three to four years. Yeah, that's fast cycle. that's fast yeah. and I understand that like the the one and one X have not been the best for them yeah but I don't know if the solution to let's get back to where we were is to do another Go console again. yeah because now like and I, I also don't understand why you why you announce something like that that early because now like why would anyone buy a one X like, yeah why would when anyone buy a one you're working on something else sure yeah why would anyone buy a one X at this point because and like, but the, the other thing that didn't happen because everybody expected the price drop I yeah. can maybe understand it if they went, we're working on this new Xbox, but here we're dropping totally. the price like for if an they'd X. Got, if they'd gone and then said, people like, go, oh, it's cheaper now. Yeah. I can pick this up, play all the stuff that I want on it, and then when the new Carry one comes out, be ready. Yeah. But yeah, they didn't. They didn't come out and say like, and it's a hundred dollars off or whatever yeah. it is. Like, um, that was weird because I I read a lot of people were talking about rumors of price drops, yes. drops and um, leaks yeah, from retailers and super stuff. Early, which means I don't know if Sony react to it on monday sony are but. sony are in a more of a position direct to it but not by much no like the pro was not that long ago yeah and they have a better install base and, and they are, don't need to they don't need to do anything so i like i i'd probably put money that there's there's like a, a team somewhere um, in sony yeah, yeah. doing this oh, I, 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 I assume, they don't talk about it i assume since the ps4 launch there has been a team yes because that's normally how these but things they work, do but not but talk about that thing because no. they cannot cannibalize any sales they have yeah. but they're also like the leaders right totally so they so why would you they do can this? do they they dictate pace at this and point I, so i mean also like playstation of explicit said no, no hardware announcements yeah. so you know vita 2 no um and then playstation the the, the psp go to yes and then as phil was wrapping up we had a cool little weird hacking moment yep. um for ca project a project Cyberpunk 2077. Cyber 2077 showing off the first CG trailer of that holy fuck does that thing look great that looks like CG project doing what they do best in that world which looks really good yeah. and it's it's one of the things I've heard a lot of people I know um, like a lot of the, the writers and stuff I listen to Austin Mocker specifically like when he's he's 
a big fan of cyberpunk stuff. Yeah. And he's he always talks about the fact that cyberpunk has become a style rather than a has become visual rather than narrative. Narrative. Yeah. So like cyberpunk has always been about like the bad side of a lot of this yeah. as well. So it was really cool to see in that trailer they had like the Disparity. shiny corporate world and they yeah. had like no here's the people who are really not feeling yeah. it. The the a lot of the core of cyberpunk is like disparity between big corporation and the little guy yeah and how the people with power are the people trying to like outsmart yeah the bigger people just it was they're like, better it was like the good part the really good parts of the the deus ex story of like anyone can get augmented but like you need to have money to be able to upkeep Keep yourself up the, yeah. on uh was the drug you needed uh, neuropazine neuropazine yeah. like you need to be able to keep doing that if you couldn't like and also like you're gonna get the shitty augs if you're yeah if you're like that kind of stuff it's the there's a lot of talk about class disparity and wealth disparity yeah. in cyberpunk so there's all um, that along with but yeah so it was, it was a lot of shots cutting backwards forwards of like big color uh clothing style yep. of the real world like there was a shot of like a fashion so- show and there was this woman coming out in like all chrome yeah and mental stuff and like shots of the the one that i remember the most is that woman she was doing her makeup but mm. half her jaw was missing yeah because obviously she's going to put something there yeah, like she can replace her um, jaw or but something. then it go- cuts to just like people in back streets getting fucked up by shotguns and like it's that yep. hard cuts but then i don't know the the, the it, was, it was voiced over by the protagonist mm. and he just seemed like the most generic dude he did. It was just like a guy with a gun, which is weird. And a like, car, considering like, how much, considering how much of a character Geralt. Um, I was about to call him Gerald. That's not no, his name. Geralt, Geralt. Geralt of Rivia. Um, how much of a character? Uh, Gerald. John. Be- <laughs> what the fuck's his name? Geralt. 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 Geralt of Rivia. Geralt. How much of a character Geralt became? Well, the 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 counterpoint to that is that they had a lot of books to work off of for right, Geralt. sure. Whereas I don't know if Cyberpunk's based on anything, but... Sure. I mean, it's based on Cyberpunk, but yes. I guess, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I don't want to read too much into it because it's been, like, one trailer, yeah. but it does look very cool. That logo is and sick. I, I trust, that logo is really nice. I trust CD Projekt to yeah. do well in that sort of open-world RPG space considering they made the best one. Yeah. So... The interesting thing will be the other... The other it's weird that, like, when you see people who have done fantasy style RPGs moving mm. into things that are not fantasy either yeah. like modern day how or, do or CD Projekt handle guns how do they handle like yeah. literally how do they handle guns how do you handle magic that's not magic like oh that's just that's hacking right right that's... but like is there mechanics involved in that is it just a mana pool like all of those kind of mechanical things that yeah. you can kind of get away with in fantasy for just being like oh it's just mana right? what I recommend yeah. is that CD Projekt play Syndicate and learn how to do that sort of thing because right. that Syndicate remake was very, very yep. good at doing exactly that. Exactly the this is how cyberpunk hacking works of just going bing, there's a thing, bing, there's a thing. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, but and also there was no year on that. Nah. There's no date on that. It's, nothing. It's, those guys are just going to take as long as they take, yep. and it will come out when it comes out. It's cool, and I hope it's very good. I I hope it is as well. But I'm, I'm super excited about that thing. That was Microsoft. Very good showing, Whew. very strong. It was Lots very strong showing. Um, I, again, like if you want to actually start mapping out, like yes, they showed a lot of games and those games were really cool. If you want to start mapping out like company directions, yeah. like you look at stuff in there that was like exclusive, exclusive. Yeah, there's stuff there, but not huge amounts. Yeah, but they did get the third party announcements, which does neg- like kind of disguise some of that stuff in there. Like they showed a lot of stuff, mm-hmm. but. And they, they do a very, very good job of, like, making you forget that that stuff's probably coming to everything else as well. But the actual 15 exclusive things they showed that were, yeah. like, this is Xbox and Windows only, they were decent stuff. Decent stuff, yeah. So, um, and this was what they needed to do this year, in my opinion. They need to come out and be, like, just here are games, like, yeah. we are doing games. It's we the... still have the best console. Like, that is undisputable yeah. at this point. It's, it's the thing that they've done for a couple of years now of doing the games game games thing but it was more important this year yeah of like actually shoring up to people here's why you should and it was an actually Xbox. interesting as well where they can now balance this whole thing on and if you give us however much it is a month you can just play all these things yeah like and you don't need to worry about picking them up when yep. they come out like, have it just have all of it it's a it was a good sh- it was a solid yes very impressive them. um so next is bethesda bethesda um at like 
Or the video will the probably morning. be tomorrow because we will be tired. Yeah, we'll be exhausted, so we'll do it tomorrow morning yes. and we'll get something up then. Um, but we'll talk about it then, so stay tuned. Yep. See you for Bethesda later. Bye-bye. Bye.